Hi, this is Pallavi Verma and in my previous video, we have discussed what is a string and its comparison. So, in this video, we will talk about hash map. So, let's get started. So, first I will create a class and I will give the quick introduction to hash map also. So, let's say it's a hash map class. You can give the class name as per your convenience or requirement. So step by step, I will tell you the characteristics of the hash map because there are certain rules that we need to follow while implementing the hash map. So first, we need to provide the environment in which we can implement the hash map. For that, we need to import the package. So for that, we have java.util package. Now I will create one class here. Sorry, I will create one method here. So let's say it's uh, public map data you can give the method name as per your requirement or convenience so while implementing hash map there's a one thing that we need to keep in mind we need to pass one pair here so what kind of pair is this so let's see it's saying k and v so k represents key and v is representing the value so if you are trying to swap this value, so you can swap, but still hash map will consider the first argument as your key and second is value. If you think you can swap like this value, first you want to pass value and then key, but still when you execute it, your key would be considered as this one and your value would be considered as this one. So better not to just mess up the things. So first we will pass the key. So we need to pass the type of the key. So let's say it's a string and the type of value is, let's say it's your integer. Now I will create the object of the hash map. Now I need to add the element in my hash map. So for that we have put method. So put method always accepts to argument and we will see the implementation of that also so map dot put so first value which is of type string let's say i am giving pull and uh, value let's say it's one and i will add few other data we have more data Let's say four values. Let's say it's Pallavi. So, Verma. Let's say it's Ram. This is, let's say, your 11. Let's say your 100. Maybe your 21. Now, why we need to pass two argument, two values here? Because if you go inside this method, which is your put, so it is always accepting two arguments of type key and value that's the reason why we always pass two values while using put method now there are two ways using which we can implement or maybe we can display the data so first one is using the for each loop and second one is using the iterator so first i will tell you using the for each loop so i hope you all know how for each loop works so first i need in for each loop also, there are two ways that you can use it. First one is using the and tree. An and tree, let's say your string and integer, and this is your well, and uh, map dot entry set. Why we are calling this entry set here is something is missing here. Okay, so why we are calling this entry set? Because your entry set will contain the whole entries or the whole data of your map. So the object of map which is containing the data, that whole set of data it will contain in your entry set. So if we call this, it will return you the whole set of this. Now, I can directly just print the value so for that we need to do well dot 
get either you can display key or value or maybe both by concatenating it so let's say i'm just uh, displaying key so quickly i just create the object of the class and then i will run it and i will tell you how we can display the data using the iterators so i need to call the method So if I run this, I'm able to get all the keys. If you want to display the value, so get value, you need to call here. And the second way for the for loop also, you can do map dot entry. So in this way also, if I run, you will be able to get the values. Now, the another way is using iterator. Since the entry set is containing the whole data, the set of entries that are there in your map, so for that we need something which can hold that for all the entries or that data. So we are going to use the set and why I am using the set that also I will tell you. So here we have map dot entry set. So if we go inside this entry set, it will tell you, it will always return you the data of type set. That's why we are using the set here. Now I need to use iterator. Either you can give or skip the generics, I'm skipping it. Now here you need to do set dot iterator. Now we need to set some condition to check whether map data map has the data or not. So for that, what we need to check, we need to check okay whether we have more data or not. So for that, we have one method. So using the iterator, we will call that. So it is has next, and has next will always return you a boolean value, which is true or false. Now here, now I have entry set. Now I'm able to iterate over this entry set. So now I need to store the data. So for that, we will have entry set again. You can give the generics. I'm skipping it. And it.next will give us the complete data. What is the meaning by the complete data? Complete data means the complete entry. So if I call this, it will return you this particular first complete entry and the second iteration, it will give you this entry, which means it will return you the key and value both. So now we need to typecast it to the entry. So this is next entry now from this entry we need to pick particular thing which means either i want to pick the key or value or maybe both so suppose first i will clear the console and i will put the syslog so let's say this time i want to call values so I will have entry dot get values. And if I run this, so I'm able to get this. So there are two ways where you can use to display the data that are there in your map. So I hope you like this video. Stay connected and stay safe.